Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors with this spaghetti jollof. A flavorful twist on a classic dish without tomatoes. And so guys, wear your apron and let's get started. Here yeah, I have already boiling hot water which I'm going to add some salt and a little oil to this and I'm going to put the spaghetti inside here to allow it to cook we are going to cook this spaghetti until it's half done not fully done while the spaghetti is cooking once in a while we need to open the pot use a spoon to turn the spaghetti so that the spaghetti does not gum together. I will be blending all these ingredients all together and it's very important that all chili pepper and red bell pepper are all de-seeded. All ingredients for this recipe will be in the description box. Please check it out. Now the spaghetti is half done, I'm going to remove it from the pot Remove this otota and run it through cold water so that the spaghettis are separate and not gummed together. I want to thank all my subscribers for all your support. Thank you so much. And for the new subscribers, you are welcome to this kitchen. I love you guys. Now to a dry pot, we're going to add a little vegetable oil. I'm adding salt to this granite oil because I want to make this granite oil more flavorful. I promise you guys this recipe is a must try. It is a confirmed recipe. Very delicious guys. Now I'm going to add the pepper mix and give this a very good turn and cover it for it to cook for like five minutes. Mix everything properly together and then we're going to cover this and allow it to cook. The crayfish in this ingredients gives this spaghetti jollof a whole different twist. That is actually where the twist comes from. It gives it a whole different flavor. It's been five minutes now and the water has partially dried out. I'm now going to add curry to this and give it a very good turn. We are going to allow this sauce to dry out a bit. So we're going to cover it and allow it to cook. As you can now see here, the water has dried. It's good. The texture now is what we are looking for. And now we're going to go ahead with the other ingredients. And to this now, I will be adding the spaghetti. You can see how separated the spaghetti are. This is due to using cold water to run the spaghetti after cooking. This reduces the spaghetti from cooking and also helps the spaghetti to be separate. Now I'm going to give this a very good turn, put everything together. After giving it a very good turn, I'm now going to add some meat stock to this spaghetti jollof. And now we're going to put everything together, mix everything properly together and then we're now going to cook this spaghetti until it is properly done. At this point, you can check for if you need to add some seasoning. And if you do, you can add, but for now, mine is okay because initially I added salt to the vegetable oil. While the spaghetti jollof is still cooking, it's always good to open the pot and give the spaghetti a turn so that the spaghetti does not stick together. 
at this point you can see that the water has dried out and the spaghetti is soft and tender ready to eat so now we're going to put the spaghetti off the fire because the heat will continue to cook it guys food lovers I hope this video was very useful to you please leave me a comment on which recipe you want me to prepare next please subscribe to my channel for beautiful and easy recipes like this please like comment share with your friends and with your family and please guys support your girl support your babe support your sis thank you so much and i will see you in the next video cheers